welcome to Vet Nurse Dictionary Corner with Jane Orr again. What should you do about getting somebody to proofread your assignments or getting somebody to proofread your practice exams? Two pairs of eyes are usually better than one, so someone else may be able to spot things that you can't. The person that you choose to review some of your exam answers or your assignment doesn't necessarily need to be a subject specialist. So it could be someone that you know who doesn't study vet nursing or veterinary, but someone who you appreciate their feedback, but also would give you good feedback on things like your spelling or your grammar, or does what you've written make sense, particularly for assignments. Reading aloud yourself, you can help spot those errors. I edited it a number of times, four separate people edited it. The final editor still sent an e emails back saying, is this what you actually meant? because I'd missed out several words in a sentence. <laughs> Clearly it wasn't what I meant, but I knew what I was saying, so I skipped over them. Other editors were looking for other things. This person was specifically looking for those missing words. So as much as possible, try and get someone that you respect, that you think that the way that they would write is good, but it doesn't have to be someone that knows about veterinary nursing, because if you've written well, they don't actually need to know about veterinary nursing because you'll have answered and explained. So help is out there and it might come in some unexpected forms. It might be a parent, it might be a friend, it might be someone that you've been to school with. There are people out there to help. Here's to learning better for 2019. Thanks for watching. Head over to janerVN.com and sign up for regular newsletters and also find me on Twitter and Instagram at JaneRVN.